So Black Widow is poised to make almost eight hundred ninety million dollars again. It could it's not gonna close a hundred million dollars. Again, soul movies don't do as well as sequels or Benzers. <clears throat> yes, it's not it's not gonna do as well as Black Panther and and Captain Marvel. Which are go again photos movies were riding in on Black Panther I think that was more that was more to do with the quote unquote cultural impact of the movie and Brad, and Captain Marvel is essentially just riding off of Endgame. But the movie is poised to eight, make $88 million. Was, was it definitely much higher than the 70 to $80 million they, they were predicting? They were saying it was going to make $80 million. And I expected to make money. But of course, they had to, but of course, according to the Phantom Menace, it was going to go to Ant Man numbers. Okay? Ant-Man numbers, it was worth again, if we're going to say, if we're going to use Ant-Man numbers, Ant-Man, okay? With Ant-Man numbers, it's $519 million worldwide. And Ant Man the Rock made more money because Endgame. But it made more money than both Ant Man and Ant Man the Wasp. Okay. Okay, this is Ant Man numbers. 180 million. Okay. Ant Man opened with 57 million. Okay. Ant Man opens with that much at the box office. But Black Widow is projected to open at a nine million. It's a moon. I might even go a hundred million. A great job, pretty good. Well, I think 8 million, 8 million is probably pretty accurate. I can compare it to Ant Man and the Wasp, and Black Widow is going to make more money than Ant Man and the Wasp. Okay, very simple. Okay. But the fan the menace said the movie's gonna do worse than Ant Man and Ant Man and the Wasp. Okay. Okay, and this is the Ant Man one. Yo. Yeah. We won't. We don't know the wigs of Black Widow. Black Widow might have invisible wigs or good wigs, but we all know it's gonna make more money than Ant Man the Wasp worldwide, most likely. So movie's not gonna make Ant Man numbers. If they find the magic, gonna say, okay. We're gonna put in Doctor Strange. It's doing better than Doctor Strange. It's open to 85 million. Okay. It's not doing better than Spider Man Homecoming, which. Well, why am I homecoming? That's a pretty strange one that was outside. Maybe Spider Man Homecoming didn't really have a lot of hype. And once it came out, it was kind of like, you know, the Die Hard fans. 
starting to see Spider-Man Homecoming, but it is doing infinitely better than World War 1984 as well. As well, but Black Widow is supposed to be a flop. It's supposed to be the biggest flop of the year. Is what, you know, the fans of Mass is doing. I think it's pretty really whooping than that much, right? Because there are people who still do listen, sadly, to the fans of Mass. That still listen to these guys online. And start the meanless boycott. And yeah, I never said Black Widow is going to gross a billion dollars or anything. But, they said that Black Widow would only make like 70 to 60, 70 to 80 million. Even the quote unquote. But they said Black Widow would flop. They said the movie would lose money. Which is completely stupid. It's completely false now. The whole narrative around Black Widow flopping is started by the fandom menace. And the fandom menace alone. Yeah. And the fans of Mass were saying that fears will never recover. And that streaming would be basically the only thing left. Okay. And now we really have to see what goes on that tomorrow with Black Widow's box office. Because really that's all we really have to wait for. But I don't think anyone predicted Black Widow would gross a billion dollars. I don't think anybody said it would. Would. I think a lot of these movies that were long delayed because of the pandemic, I don't really think there is much excitement for them because they keep do they kept doing them because of the pandemic, so people weren't really able to see them until now. Okay, there wasn't really much hype for you know Peter Rabbit or Box Baby Two either. And a lot of people have been underperforming or not performing as well as they should. Because I think Black Widow, if, it, if, it, if there was no pandemic, would have been an easy $100 million goal. So yeah, the fandom manager would still complained about it. But there was still a pandemic. There were still states and countries that, are still, that still refused to reopen feeders. Okay? For example, California. Okay, now we're now going to the Blu-ray charts now. They're finally starting to update the Blu-ray charts again. And there wasn't really anything new on here. Okay. Nothing really new. No real new movies. They said the Blu-ray sales are down. Of course, there's no new movies. So, not many people are going to buy new movies. If there's no new movies to come out. I think that's pretty obvious. And actually, Blu-rays were doing pretty well early on in the pandemic. But as, but as time went on, when there's no new movies, it's going to be like... What's it gonna buy? What is it to buy? Okay. And stores were closing as well and stuff. You know, Best Buy was closed a bit, you know, as well. You know, there were no real new movies to buy. It was kind of like, you know, you had no new movies coming out. Okay, now we have, now we do have sales. And yeah, we have Godzilla, King of the Monsters. As well. And... It's pretty good that now the movie industry as a whole, yes, that includes garbage streaming sites, which don't which, oh, uh, which won't have a monopoly over how people see movies anymore, which is what I was scared of because of the pandemic. It's good that movie theaters are recovering because I don't want movie theaters to have a complete monop not not movie theaters, you know, streaming sites and streaming services to have a complete monopoly over how we see movies. Movies, okay. I think that should not be the case. I think scenes, I think scenes sites should be kept in check. Okay, I think a lot of shows and movies after a certain amount of time should come to Blu-ray as well. But again, and to keep a check on streaming services and streaming sites. But again, that means I have to uncensor them, and that's what streaming sites never want to happen. So yeah, that's basically about this video. Goodbye.